guys, it's Ron. Thanks for coming back. Well, I finally got my American rotary wired up. So, there she is. There's the motor. So, she's going. Now, all I have to do is wire it up down there. And the only thing about that is when I disconnected the relay on the back there, I didn't write down where the incoming wire is, I mean where the incoming feed is. I trimmed it off with about six inches on all the legs, but it's got three sets of three. And it's all color coded, that's not a problem. But what's the problem is I don't know which one's coming in and which one's going to the switch and which one's going to the motor. So that's as far as I got. Anyway. So since I don't know how to wire the breaker on the back of the motor, I'm going to have somebody come take a look at this thing that knows a little bit more about the uh, three phase than I do. I'm not sure which one to connect it to. They're all color coded. I, like I say, that's not the problem. But I don't know which one goes where. So once I know that, it's, it's going to be a breeze. Hey guys, I'd like to throw in just another small update. I picked up a set of three of these on eBay for 20 bucks. And they're brown and sharp number sevens. And you see how they have the tang on them. Well anyway, I've got one in here now. I cut the tang off of it and I've got it held in with my draw bar. I've got a 7 eighths one I did the same pardon me I did the same thing to and they work pretty darn good I just playing around earlier this morning I know I should have recorded it but it's just me playing around you can't feel you can't feel them but and that's with the one that's in here now so I think I got a a 5 8 a 3 quarters, and a 7 8 and the 5 8 is one in there. The 3 quarters is here, and there's the 7 8 For 20 bucks, 8 bucks shipping. Can't beat it. Original brown and sharp. I just thought I'd share that with you before I let You know, bash time is coming up really close. It's this Saturday, less than a week away. Since I'm registered in the grinder workshop, I gotta be there Friday morning at 10 o'clock, which means I have to leave here right around 1 o'clock to go get my friend. And I haven't told him yet, but I don't know how happy he's gonna be about leaving at 1 in the morning, but I'm sorry, that's just the way I have to do it. If you're a home shop machinist, this has to be on your bucket list. I'm just a wannabe home shop machinist, and this is definitely on my list, and I'm doing it this year, so. Anyway, that's kind of an update on the American Rotary, that's where we sit on that. She's all done. I'm going to see if I can get a couple or at least one 220 outlet down there for my welders. I do have another project going over here. And I'm going to build a stand to put both of these on here instead of this hokey little hand truck that my little Lincoln stick was on and hopefully I'll get that on video but this is where I'm at right now I hope to see a lot of you guys at the bash I tend on live streaming a little bit at the bash um, I think we're gonna have a great time and I'll be a tired camper halfway through the day though but it's worth it get to go to bed Friday night and wake up to the bash Saturday. So, that's if I'll be able to sleep. Anyway, thought I'd let you guys know where I was at. Um, thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll do some live streaming down there. 11, 12, 1 o'clock. I'm going to post those three times. And we'll see what we can do about them. We'll see how close I can get to meeting them. We'll do maybe a 15-minute walk around on each one or something. Depends what's going on. We might start at one and not end until the other one. So we'll just see what happens, okay? I hope to see you there. Um, 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell when I'm down there and I pop up with something you want to know. Okay? Hope to see you soon.